With the recent FDA approval of the over-the-counter sale of Narcan, there are many, many questions on when and how to actually use it to quickly reverse an opioid overdose. And Dr. Jen is breaking it all down for us with yep. some mini med school. So, Dr. Jen, before we get to work on our patient here, yes. can you explain to us how does Narcan work? So, in the hospital, we've used Narcan for over 20 years intravenously to reverse an opioid overdose or over sedation with opioids. Um, that class of medication can cause respiratory depression, respiratory arrest. If that's not treated, that can then lead to cardiac arrest. So in a hospital setting, paramedics and doctors and nurses, we've been using it intravenously for years. Now it will be available, as Gio said, over the counter uh, in nasal spray form. So no barrier for use. Anyone can use it and anyone can save a life. And how do you know that someone needs it? Well, that's the thing. Maybe you don't know, right? So if you come across someone who is in signs of respiratory distress, meaning they have some cyanosis or blue discoloration around their lips or mouth or their nail beds or they're unresponsive or they're gurgling, you can tell that they're not breathing well and you don't know why. Narcan will not hurt them if you're wrong, if they haven't taken opiates, but it can save their life and immediately reverse that opioid respiratory depression and if possible, you know, save a life and prevent a cardiac arrest. And that's really important for people to understand. You're not going to hurt somebody by giving them you Narcan. You will absolutely not hurt them with Narcan. And if they've taken too many opiates, it will just immediately displace the effects of that drug on those receptors and reverse it. It's an immediate antidote. Okay, so talk us through right. how this so works. So this is what it will look like, you guys. This is a spray. Again, as we've said, over the counter. Uh, you don't need a prescription for it. And if you come across someone that is not responsive and you're shaking them, you can see that they're turning blue, they're not breathing well, you put, one, you put this in one nostril, and it really should go all the way up, you push it once, it does not go in the mouth, okay? And it does need to be up their nostril to do it. And okay. how quickly does that work? Seconds, okay? So oh, obviously quickly. you want to activate 911, you want to administer this, and then you want to wait and observe them and see if they start breathing on their and own. And what if they're not breathing yet? If they're not breathing and you're, and you're watching their chest or you're feeling for air movement and they're not breathing, then you want to, again, initiate 911, tell someone to call 911, and then you want to check their pulse and see if they're, in fact, not breathing and have no heart rate. If there's no heart rate, you start CPR. If they're not breathing on their own, then you want to kind of gently tilt their head back. And you can administer some mouth-to-mouth, -mouth, you know, puffs and breaths, but that is not necessary. The key is to call 911 and to make sure they have a pulse. Are there any side effects that we need to be looking no. for? And that's the thing, you guys. You know, we're going to be hearing more and more about these being located everywhere because you just can't assume that I know wow. someone who's at risk for an opioid overdose. So if you come upon someone in an out of hospital scene and they're unresponsive, I will tell you paramedics are using this first right away. There's no harm in they that. They should just have this around because and, now it's and over the counter. We will and, yeah. be seeing it around and I think a lot of lives will be saved. And the way you, that looks very easy to do. Incredibly easy. Everyone can do it. All right. All right. Thanks, All right. Dr. Jen. You bet. And for more on how to save a life with CPR after a suspected overdose, check out the American Heart Association. Yeah, such important stuff there. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.